Hey, what's up guys? So today's video is on this. And this is a controller that, well, I was given actually an entire PS2 by a friend, which was really nice of them. They just gave it to me because it doesn't actually play discs. So video on that coming up. Um, but whilst we were playing FIFA on the other PS2 the other day, I realized that this controller that uh, I got from him actually has zero input apart from the analog sticks, which is really strange. Um, it's not the port on the PlayStation um, because I used an, a completely different controller. That worked absolutely fine. Um, so I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with this, obviously. So yeah, today we're gonna strip this apart and see if we can't find out what's wrong with it. Let's go. Right, so here she is. Uh, it's just a standard PlayStation 2 analog controller, but it is in the, uh, the silver. Um, now I do have another couple of these controllers to be fair so if I can't repair this then I can just swap the boards out the other ones into this one which could be quite nice because as I said it is quite a nice controller I do like it it's a good color it does need a really good clean too um, but yeah so none of the buttons respond at all analog sticks work fine um, but yeah absolutely zero input on the buttons it was input in a little bit so I think it's intermittent um, so it could be a dodgy connection uh, I don't really see any corrosion in there but it could be the actual wire itself is uh, it's got a split in it or, or some sort of damage or it could be the uh, connections in here uh, PS2 controllers do have really good strain relief it's usually called I think around here around the posts um, so I don't really expect it to be that but uh, we can check that and see what's up with it. I'm gonna give this body a really good clean in the uh, in the sink as well. So let's get some tools and get this apart. All right, so that's all the screws undone. Let's uh, pull that back off there. Just looking for any signs of like uh, liquid, because if they spill liquid on these, it tends to pull in the bottom here rather than seeing it directly there. But don't see anything. It's Quite clean, doesn't look too bad. There's the um, the strain relief I was talking about. So they've got pretty decent strain relief. Um, so yeah, we'll see on that. I always found it quite weird that they have um, one heavy wheel and one light wheel. It's, it's always perplexed me as to why that is. Maybe it gives it more of a powerful vibration. I don't know, it's kind of strange. I will say I've never actually taken one of these completely apart. I've opened one up before, but never completely stripped it down like I'm about to so uh, yeah could be uh could be interesting that's where everything comes in just be able to pull them off it could just be that everything's really dirty but I don't think that's going to be the case to be honest Luckily I have another controller so I can check where the buttons go because I'm not much of a PlayStation person to be honest. Okay. All right, so already I've got enough pieces that I can go and uh, go and clean. <clears throat> so that's all keys. Let's move all this out of the way. I'll probably clean, oh yeah. I think I'll definitely clean those, that's disgusting. Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll clean those too. Ew. Okay, so I can get to, uh, so this goes down and then around that. Okay, I need to try and kind of remember that. So I don't see any damage. It's what looks like a uh, flux on there. So let's have a little probe. Set myself up to continuity. Make sure my probes are in because they're they're a bit finicky actually. Uh, so there is should be these contacts here. Is that all the way to the top? It looks that way. So let's see if we can find these contacts. That oh, there it is. Just didn't have on the end right. So the wires seem to be okay. Could be the membrane. I mean these are tied directly to the board. So it could be this uh, ribbon cable here. It could just be dirty contacts on here. Um, I mean, that definitely could be a thing, but that's, that's funny though, because if one goes, then everything after it would go, but everything before it would work. 
Let's see if I can find some continuity here. It seems to be kind of difficult to get anything off these because of the way they're built. Get any continuity? It really should be showing continuity somewhere along there. But it ain't. Which is a bit weird. I might be completely wrong though. So strange. Um, I think the only thing I can really try is to clean it. If it is a membrane problem. I don't see any other issues to be honest. The wires are okay. Everything on the board looks absolutely fine. And I know the board is working to put inputs down the line because I've got joystick control. So it might be a case of giving it a clean. It could have just been really crappy contacts on the uh, on these that's causing it. Um, these could be old as hell, or it could be a break in the in the membrane itself. Uh, I think the easiest way to find out really is going to clean it up. Um, chuck some of the bits back on, plug it in and just see if I get any anywhere with that. And uh, what I'm going to do is give these pads, the carbon pads I could clean. Uh, just put a little bit on there. Just a little bit. No pressure at all. Just like that. Do the same with this one. So I'll let them dry and then we'll do the paper trick. Um, we'll rub them along some uh, some paper to try and clean the pads and make them brand new again. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to wait for that membrane to dry. Whilst I'm waiting for all of that, I'm going to take these. I'm going to chuck them into the sink in hot water. <laughs> oh, that's almost as bad as my snares. I want you to get a good look. Oh, lovely. See, I have to put up with it. So do you. <laughs> if I have to deal with it, you do too. <sighs> so I'm going to go do that now. Uh, I'll cut the video here. And then as soon as everything's clean and dry and we're all good to go, um, I shall give that a quick test, see if it's made any difference. If it hasn't, because I don't really want to mess with membranes. They're an absolute nightmare. I've never, <laughs> never enjoyed trying to repair them. And even if it is a break on that membrane, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't have conductive paint and splitting the membrane apart is a nightmare. Um, anything like that membrane repairs is just an utter nightmare. Um, so not going to do it. We'll, uh, we'll leave it as it is. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back as soon as I've washed all of this stuff. Okay. So, uh, I've cleaned all the bits, all the plastics and everything up nicely. And, uh, I did give the board just off camera a quick once over with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. I mean, it's looking all right. Doesn't seem to be anything up with that. So let's clean these pads and we'll test it before I go stuffing it all back together. Oh, I also uh, I cleaned inside there with a bit of isopropyl, just in case it's a contact. I don't think it is, but you never know. There we go. Okay. So I think it's time to go over to shaky cam. I should have just left these in, shouldn't I? So let's pin that back down like that. It's all been cleaned. Uh, we'll grab that and that and basically see if we can get it to work. So let's go over to the TV and my phone. Okay, so I've got it plugged in, got a bit of a FIFA on the go, and it is still completely unresponsive. I'm making sure to get these dead center, like that. And even like moving it around on it, I've got nothing. Um, the buttons here, Absolutely nothing. However, the uh, analog stick works still. So yeah, it's uh, it's just this front is not working at all. I may give it another quick look over and uh, see if I can't figure out what it is. But I'm pretty sure it must be a break somewhere on this uh, on this membrane. Okay, so there we go. Absolutely nothing, um, which is a bit annoying. Maybe something was spilt on this uh, controller and it's damaged the membrane. See some weird crap all along here. Like I said, I've gone over the whole board with a toothbrush and some isopropyl. And it has some weird white staining there. I've also noticed some down here um, and just around the components on the board, which is really weird. So 
and you can especially see it there hang on so yeah you can see the uh the white staining which is uh here all around here there's some down here too um now we live in a hard water area and just to me that kind of looks like uh water residue like anytime you leave get any get any of our water on anything you get like a chalky white residue right so i was just looking at this black one this is the only other like a uh, proper dual shock 2 one i have left the other ones uh not dual shock 2 they don't have the dual shock 2 on them so i know they're different but i don't know how however this has more pins than this. So let me get the focus and I'll show you. There. There's a pin missing. Here. Yeah. Completely missing. Uh, I thought maybe it was just how it was, but there it is, you can see it. Just uh, in there. So that's a bit strange. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's only eight wires. So maybe that's not what it is. But how come the other controller that's exactly the same has a, uh, has a pin that this one doesn't? I find that strange. They're the same part number. Uh, has this got a SCPH10010? SCPH10010. Oh. So, yeah, they're exactly the same, just, uh, just the pins in the controller are different. And the, the other PlayStation 2 controllers I have all have that same pin count. Now unfortunately the only real way to find out is by opening this up and uh, and I can't do that. But again the only other controller I have is that black one. Um, I don't want to take that black one apart because it matches my PlayStation 2. I'm pretty sure we do have a black one, a black DualShock 2 the same as this. That is moldy and manky I don't know where it is it may have been thrown in the bin um, but the other thing is we're moving in like a couple of days and a lot of the stuff in the house at the moment's in a box um, so I'm not sure where it is I'm pretty sure it's been packed in a box right so I'm gonna have a bit of a poke around on this board and see if we can see what might be going on uh, we do have some horrible stuff on the back of the board i have cleaned it but it's not done anything oh i just dropped my multimeter well done stace well done mate okay let's uh have a poke around see if we can see what might actually be wrong here so yeah the capacitor here that's the uh ground side or the negative so this is our negative playing all over here um, so this is negative coming in. That chip must be working. If uh, <clears throat> if the um, if the analog sticks are working, it's the only thing I can really think. Um, so let's have a look at the traces from here to the chip. So what have we got? Well, I've got that one. I don't appear to have that one, which means that pin there must be the next one. I don't have that. What about the next one? Don't have that one. I have that one. So where this? So we've got a couple of pins here that don't seem to go to anything here. So we've got that one, and then it jumps to there. that one and that one so these ones here don't appear to go anywhere there's that one there oh hang on 
And they all linked. It's hard to see because of the screen print. This is really difficult to see without like a magnifying glass or anything. I'm gonna try and give that a quick once over with some more isopropyl. There was some serious gunk on that. I'm wondering if maybe that could have been our problem. So where do our analog sticks come in here? So they're all on these bottom pins. And everything there looks okay. So could it be a shorting issue with whatever this crap was that was on here? And there's also seems to be all over these uh, resistors as well. And there's a load over here. So I'm still not really seeing this too well. So this pin here doesn't really appear to do anything. It's not connected to anything, I don't think. And where do you go? That one doesn't seem to be connected to anything either. Um, I wonder... Yep, that one and that one are both uh, positive. And that last one there is a ground. So it seems to be getting everything it needs to. Maybe now that I've removed that, I might try and give it another go because it was over the, uh, over the grounds there, uh, over the power. So maybe it wasn't sending power to the, uh, that itself. Let's try a little bit more cleaning on here. I'll just get all of this crap off. Right, so um, I'm probably best off now to let that dry a little bit. And then I will test that just as that is. Um, if that doesn't work, then I may come in here and just reflow this pin connector and maybe the uh, the chip itself where it connects to these as well, because this seems to be the problem area. Um, and I did actually get quite a lot of crap off the board. Um, so yeah, it could be definite water damage, I think. And hopefully the water hasn't got into the actual membrane itself and, uh, and caused issues there. Because if it has, then it's kind of a lost cause. Though I don't, I don't see anything on there, um, which is good-ish. <laughs> it's kind of a good thing. So, yeah, I'm going to give that 10 minutes to dry or so. Right, going to leave that for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and we'll, uh, we'll give it another test and see what happens. Okay, so I've let it dry, and I've tested it, and we've still got the exact same thing. Um, I do now have the PlayStation over here so that I can get some power to this and uh, maybe have a little look around, see if we can see anything going down. Yeah. So power seems to be getting to everything okay. I, think, I don't have any spare parts to replace anything with. Um, so all I can really try is, uh, is re-soldering them joints. That's about the only thing I can do. Otherwise I think this is a lost cause. But uh, let's get the soldering iron on.
Right, so all the connections look fine. Uh, if they were corroded, hopefully that's uh, pulled it out. I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. But you never know, right? What I'm going to do is let this dry again for another 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back and what we'll do is we'll actually put it back together. Um, because if that doesn't fix it, uh, then it's probably a faulty component somewhere. And as I said, I don't have any components to actually replace anything on this. Um, not that I think it'd really be worth it anyway. Uh, seeing as I know I've somewhere I've got a donor controller that I can just take the board out of. Um, and getting one, even if I don't have one, is cheap as chips. So it's probably not worth the time to do it. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that for a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, so I've given it a good, uh, a good thirty, well, twenty minutes probably of uh, of drying time. So I think now it's time to chuck it all back together. As I said, if uh, if it doesn't work, there's not much else I can do. So let's uh, put all these nice. This actually cleaned up pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. It's obviously got a few marks here and there, but that just adds character, right? Oh, okay, nope. Just checking on Reddit and uh, that pin is usually missing. Someone posted the same thing saying, uh, oh, how do I fix it? My controller's not working. And uh, yeah, uh, some have nine and some have eight. Um, when it does have the nine pins, um, it is still a pin that doesn't work. It's still a disconnected pin, so that's okay. So that's everything back together. It's looking good, but whether it works or not remains to be seen. We definitely know it's not that pin, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, all I need to do is run over to the TV and check to see if it works. So I'm gonna go do that now. Right, so I just took it over and tested it and we're still getting nothing. The uh, Analog sticks work fine, it light powers up the LED, but even the uh, analog control on and off, not working at all. So yeah, I think that is absolutely dead. There's nothing else I can think really to try. I'm pretty sure it's that membrane that's the problem. So, oh well, we'll just have to find a donor, I guess, and swap the board out. Uh, I like the silver, so um, I will dig out when I move that other controller and uh, probably swap it over, there'll be a revisit video. So thanks very much for watching guys. If you uh, enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content, more videos. The next thing I think is gonna be the iPad um, as I've ordered parts for it and they finally turned up. So yeah, that's probably gonna be the next one. That's a big old job that one. I've gotta clean all that glass off. It's gonna be a nightmare, but anyway, you take care and uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Peace.